Hi, everybody. Diane, Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. And the lesson today is when you are good to people and you honor and respect commitments and time and energy with others, you're going to get that back. So show up on time. Make it happen. Be respectful that you're not the only one in the equation, which means you're not the only one that's important. I have a somewhat young client. She's a new mom and she just signed on. And she apologized. Her little one has a little bit of a fever, a little bit of cold. And and so I said, let's just cancel the session unless you need one because I know you're not here right now. And I know you're worried too much. So I want to work on that real quick and real fast. But let's let's just change it to next week because I want everybody's session to be strong and to be powerful. And she kept apologizing. And I said, no, no, no. Life shows up. And I can do that. And why did I do that for her? Because sometimes I won't do it for everyone. She's always shown up on time. She's always been respectful. And that is exactly what I want to give back to others. Now, the ones that say, oh, I want to go out to lunch with somebody. Can we change? Yeah, I don't think so. I want to go out to dinner with a friend of mine. Can we change? Yeah, no. But the ones that really show up with integrity, you get it back. And that's really the key thing. So real quick and real fast, because it's simple and it's easy, I started looking at her, her relationship with herself when it comes to parenting, motherhood, and I started bring it up and bring it up so that she didn't parent from a space of fear, worry, or concern when fear, worry, and concern isn't in this equation. So I'm glad we touched base for a few minutes. And I'm glad I was able to give back to her at the level that she's given back to me in all of her sessions. So as you navigate forward today, maybe even the rest of all days, if people are not being really giving to you, ask yourself, am I giving? It's four quarters to a dollar. I say this all the time. And if I said, hey, do you got a dollar? It's just like, mm, mm, uh, yeah, um, awkward. But if I said, hey, I've got four quarters, do you have a dollar? I'm offering before I'm asking, and it's kind of equal to equal, and it feels better in the nervous system. Hey, you do anything tomorrow? Um, it's a loaded question. What, what, what do you need? Compared to, hey, I'm having some friends over. Are you busy tomorrow? It's like, okay. Uh, No, I can come over. Or, oh, hey, I'm moving tomorrow. Can you come over? And it'd be like, hmm, you haven't done much for me. And I can say that I'm busy. So in language, in words, how you communicate to people, When you really want to drop down and really be intimate and be safe and to have people really open up to you, it's learning how to speak where people want to do things because you've already done, honored, and respected their space. It's really simple when you make it simple. So give before you ask. Let them know what you're asking for before you need a commitment. And next time you go out, throw throw down another dollar. Be a little bit more patient. Because in that moment, again, if you look at it as a equation, you ain't the only one. People are complaining and whining and bitching and moaning because there's a lot of road um, work going on right now and they're like me they had they had to wait sometimes 10 15 minutes they had to wait in their car 
probably with radio and air conditioning or heat. And they're complaining. And now I'm sitting there going, I'm so thankful that they're working. I'm sorry that they have to work in this heat with the asphalt. And so I'm thinking about them. And I'm like, oh, I wish I had, which I don't buy, bottled water. But if I, if I had a snack or bottled water, I'd be throwing it out there. I'm appreciative of them. And two times I was in front where the guy was holding the stop sign or slow sign. And we talked for a little while because, you know me, I'm a talker. And I thanked him for what he was doing. And he's, he apologized for the wait. And I said, please, please, there is no need for an apology. I'm patient. I'm respectful. I appreciate you. And I know it's tough said, standing in this asphalt all day. They were throwing in 12-hour days that day. I couldn't do that. I was sitting in a truck with air conditioner. I wanted to say, why don't you throw down that sign and hop in my truck for a few minutes, cool down. But of course I couldn't. It would have been disrespectful to his job. So possibly I, through my language, I don't take care of and focus just on me, just on Diane. Diane is dis Diane has to wait. Diane is busy. Diane is important. How dare you make me pause for three, five, 10, 15 minutes? No, I'm like, wow, guys, thank you. Thank you for your service. Something to think about. Because when you're more like how I am, the world opens up to you. Give first. Give a little more. Offer to serve. Offer to help. And I, I promise you, it will come back. That's why I live a blessed life. That's why I get so much from people. Random people. And are people that I just give to. I wish our world was a little bit more like this. And I'm trying to help. Maybe one person at a time. And if you can shift, then I've been successful today. Need any help with all this? Unwinding it, figuring it out, how to navigate through being a nice person? Well, then I'm your gal. I'm Diane Gazine at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. Over 30 years, over 20 certificates. I will heal the wounded in you. I will help you write a healthier, successful story that feels good to your mental, physical, and emotional well-being. And for you to actually line up in to agreement to do your soul's work. And trust me, it ain't being mean. Thank you.